So now what we're going to do is we're almost finished with the project and we've got all the functionality. We're just going to clean it up because in the server.js right now we have a lot of code and it's a very long file. So what we're going to be doing is splitting it into smaller files to make it easier to manage. We'll also look at the module.exports and require the node provides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the authentication stuff, so all the passport and express session stuff, into a file. Then I'm also going to move all the roots, so all of these, into another file. And then we're going to bring them both together in server.js. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new file. I'll call it auth.js. And in this file, what I'm going to say is let, um, actually, we'll say module.exports. And this is a node feature, by the way, equals, and then we can give a function here. And what happens is um, when we say require and then auth, um, this will, it'll basic, and then we call the auth method, it'll basically run this function right here. And what we can do is we can move some of our code inside it and then require auth and then call it, and it will run all the code inside this function. So let's move all our authentication stuff in here. So this is to do with authentication, so let's move that and I'll put it inside here and I'm going to format it. And you'll all immediately notice that we have a problem and that's because this app is not defined. So what we need to do is this function will need to take in the app right here. Okay, so that's fine. And what we'll do is when we run it from server, we'll provide the express app that we create right here um, into the auth function. Okay, let's move some more um, authentication code. So let's see here. The database connection, by the way, has to be done in server.js because we need it all around. Um, let's see, pass, we can move this. This is to do with authentication. So we can say, move these um, three functions and we can move all of that and we can put that inside auth. So let's put it down here and format it. And now we'll see that we have a few more problems. We can see that, um, firstly, the database DB is not defined, which means that um, when we're doing this right here, we also have to give the database or DB. And remember in server.js, we'll create or we'll have access to this database right here in this else statement. And when we call auth, we can give it the database along with our app. Let's see what else is wrong here. Um, so if we look at auth now, we can see that um, part session is not defined. And that's because session gets imported um, in server.js as express session. So we'll need to make sure that when we run the auth method, we'll also take in a session here. Okay, now it still says passport is not defined. So um, remember that passport is also declared in um, server.js. So when we run the auth method, we'll also need to take in the passport. Okay, so now finally it says that um, object ID is not defined. So um, once again, when we run the auth method in server.js, we have to give it this object ID right here. So we'll take in um, object ID and put this into our function. I think that's almost everything now. So the last thing we have left, last two things we have is local strategy and bcrypt, which are also needed. So we need to make sure that um, when we call the auth method, we give those as well. Um, an alternative to doing this would be declaring or requiring these inside auth.js as well. And that will work just as fine. So we'll give it local strategy and bcrypt. Okay, cool. So that's our auth method. And we've moved all our authentication stuff in here. So next thing I'm gonna do is create a roots.js. So once again, I'll create a new file here and I'll call it roots.js. And this is once again going to be a function. So we'll say module.exports. Remember module.exports is the function that gets given when we require it. So, and then this will take an app or DB, and DB. We'll need those anyway, at least. And we wanna move all our roots in here. So let's see. Um, where are we at? Okay, so we want to move from here downwards. I think these are all roots. Um, so we'll copy that and paste it into here. And let's see what errors come up. So whatever the errors come up is what we need to give in our function. So we can say body parser is not defined. So this will have to take in body parser. 
Okay, we can see passport is not defined, so this will need access to passport. Um, and let's see here, bcrypt is not defined, so we'll also need access to bcrypt here. Okay, cool. So now what we can do is, um, actually I should remove all of that. And um, once we've connected to our database, we can require auth first. So we can say let auth equals require. And since we're not using an NPM package and we're requiring something locally, we put the file path in and we don't put .js. So we'll just say dot slash auth here. And now this auth, whenever we call the auth method in here, what this will do is it'll basically run the um, function that's been declared here as the modules.export function, which is this right here. And remember to run this, we need to give it all of this stuff right here. So I'm just gonna move all of this stuff into there. So we'll copy that and um, in server.js, I'll give it access to all of these. So remember that um, we had, um, access to all of these because they were required here. And what we can do is we can just give all of them to the auth.js so that these functions can run okay. And what will happen is when we call this um, auth method right here, it will basically run this function and that will do all of this stuff for us inside here. And um, it's very clean, so all we see here is this, but what this will do is it'll do all of that, which used to be in server.js before. So it's a lot cleaner now. And the next thing we need to do is call roots as well. And remember that roots needs access to app, database, body parser, passport, and bcrypt. So we can just copy those and give them to roots. And we also need to make sure that we require it. So we'll say let roots equals require and it will be dot slash roots like this. Um, we have to give quotations here, of course. Okay, there we go. So what this will do firstly is it'll run this this function which runs all of that code and then it will run um, the roots function which will run all of this code and whatever this these two functions need to run um, they take in here and we give it to them here as well. So that's everything we need to do really. So we basically essentially split our code up into different sections to make it easier to navigate. Um, I'm going to copy and submit this and see what happens. Um, I'm not expecting it to pass first time. No, nope, that seems to have worked. So that's essentially the end of the first project. There are two projects in this course. So this is the end of the first project. And basically we've just created a system where we can log in and out users. We can register users and then we can render a profile page. So I think we've learned a lot here. And I think the next project is something like a chat app or something. So. Um, yeah, that's the end of this one. So you can just go ahead and submit that and move on.